A Shadow Park High School teacher who admittedly showed his class a crude, profanity-laced comedy sketch and passed out lyrics to an, uh, to an off-color rap song is returning to class on Monday. Brad Reed, who's been at Shadow since 2006, will return to teaching, but not without facing disciplinary measures. KXY4 Sally Showman live tonight on the Sky Deck. And Sally, what's his punishment? Brad Reed was punished with uh, 19 days without pay. Compounding the issue, the district says he originally lied to them about showing portions of that video. The district is very clear in their disciplinary paperwork that this is his last chance. There's a reason education sucks. In the three and a half minute sketch, the district says Mr. Reed showed his class earlier this school year. Comedian George Carlin says the F word seven times. These rich who don't give a about them. They don't give a about you. They don't give a about you. They don't care about you. Disciplinary documents shed light into why Reed says he showed the sketch to students. The district tells Reed, you stated that you were trying to make it interesting and engage their reality. You stated that you weren't trying to attack the government or education. You were trying to get the students to think critically. According to those same documents, Mr. Reed also passed out the lyrics to a song that contains profanity titled Commencement Day. Playing off of the song's title, a Facebook page is formed titled Bring Back Mr. Brad Reed Before Commencement Day. He has close to 350 fans. While some support Mr. Reed, the district says it received several complaints from parents and students, and one student was removed from his class per parent request. While the district says the misconduct is reason enough to fire Reed, it decided against termination because, among other things, Reed agreed to publicly acknowledge his misconduct, apologize to parents who are concerned, and submit daily lesson plans to the principal. The district also says Reed demonstrated, quote, extreme and genuine remorse and stated he learned his lesson. Now, this isn't the first time Reed has been in trouble with the district. In 2006, he received another disciplinary letter for misconduct. And last year, he was accused of using his work email for a political campaign. I did talk to Reed over the phone earlier this afternoon. He says he regrets the disruption this has caused the school, and he looks forward to returning to his class. Live on the Sky Deck tonight, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.